In exercise 9.4, you really need to draw yourself up a pretty big, neat cast diagram. That's on your information sheet. Now, as to identifying which quadrant is which, I tend to go 1, 2, 3, 4 along the lines of cast. Cos theta positive, all ratios positive, sine positive, tan positive. I'll put in the radian measures there. That could also be 2 pi. Um, we've got pi over 2, and we've also got pi. If we wanted the angles, 270, 0 and 360, 90 degrees at 12 o'clock, 180 degrees to the left. Now, in question 1A, you're asked to identify or give a trig ratio using radian measure of point which lies on the boundary between quadrants 1 and 2. Now, that's clearly pi over 2. Identifying the quadrant that 120 would be in, 120 is approximately here. So quadrant 2 lying between pi on 2 and pi. Minus 400. Now, whilst in this course we don't deal too often um, with scenarios like this, whilst we don't deal too often with this, minus uh, 400 will be sweeping around once, minus 360, and minus 40 degrees further, which is equivalent to minus 400 degrees, puts us into quadrant 4, which is in the 3 pi on 2 to 2 pi quadrant. 4 pi on 3, you can see, would be in quadrant 3, which is the uh, pi to 3 pi on 2 quadrant. And lastly, pi on 4, halfway into quadrant 1, which is in the 0 to pi over 2 quadrant. Now, very, very important that you're able to handle questions like this. Very quickly, positive and negative radian measure between um, the quadrants 3 and 4. Quadrant 3 and 4, you're looking at 3 pi on 2, and clockwise, or anti-clockwise, that would fit us into the minus pi over 2 category.